Yo, yo, yo! Guess who just got the next Lexi Lou skin or Lennox Rides? I don't know why I call her Lexi Lou. Um, I think that's a K-pop artist that I'm thinking of, but yeah, baby, look at that. Look at this, there's a blue variant now, right? Let's jump onto the big boy mode and uh, let's put on the new skin before we go and clap some... some, some what, do we got, what we got to do? Oh, crackhead! We need to spread the holiday cheer by decorating the che trees in... Crack shots neighborhood uh, stockings must hang. Okay, well, um, let us quickly just change the variation here. Mm hmm. Oh, damn. Let me put on some of these. I think this one is actually the coolest. I think that one may actually be the coolest. Unfortunately, it is actually the earliest one we unlock, so there's potential we get this one. Damn, son, where'd you find this? I don't know. Oh, didn't even equip it. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I. There we go, equipped, and as for the bunny, we can also change the bunny to match us. Oh, how kawaii. Yeah, woo! Look at her. She looks high as hell. Oh my god. Love to see it. Right, let us move on. Stockings must hang. Um, we could bang out this classic 88 mission because of the fact that we have teammates. Mm -hmm. And teammates make these missions easier. It seems also that no one does the 140s or the 100s. 140s because it's giving re-perk? What? Why are you giving re-perk in the 140? You should give double the legendary. Then you might incentivize a few people to actually get it done. What's this person's name? Oh, it's not. It's just their title is covering part of their name. I was like, hmm, yes. Xing Lao Ping Kong Ti uh, Robin Hood is what I was going for. But uh, no, it's a Chinese name that I cannot read. Or is it Korean? No, that's Chinese, isn't it? That's Chinese. Yeah, I think it's Chinese. But the O character looks a little bit... Ah, whatever. Not that I know. We already discussed that I am no very, I'm not very good with geographical -ness, mm -hmm, words. You know what I'm saying? Take some presents. Right, we need to hang some stockings, don't we? All right, well, let us go have a gander. Oh, there's... Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Bells, did I not do this in the last one? Don't tell me it's a repeatable one. It definitely is, isn't it? It definitely blooming is. Right, well, let's try and ignore those ones. And just go hang stockings. Because otherwise, we'll be running around all day. Oh, look, there's a, there's a discharger. Right off the bat, we see those. Mm-hmm. Hey! Okay, we're not hanging stockings, we're decorating trees. Right. I mean, do seven trees. Seven trees. Have to admit, the um, design for this map is very cool. There's no, there's no denying that. It's a very Christmassy themed map, and I, I do enjoy the Christmas themes on these maps or games. Games in general. What did we get? Ooh. Oh, we got a Shadow Sharp one shot. Don't mind if I do. I want to get in here to decorate your tree house. There we go. I'll make up for the mess. Your house is a mess, and I will clean it up by adding a tree. A flying tree, nonetheless. Mmm. Oh, that's four done. There we go. It's just, um... <laughs> Can I decorate that through the window? Okay, I didn't even need to destroy your house. I'm sorry. I won't learn from my mistakes. You are right. Oh, actually, I don't know where that... I got caught on the leaf. Fair enough. One's being defended very nicely. I get the feeling that the final one's in here. No? Hmm, okay, must be like minced somewhere on the map. But where? I don't know. How long's 18 seconds? Here's a turret. Let that help you out. I mean, a turret on this map must be wild, actually. Like, we've got nearly maxed turrets. I, I think maybe we even have maxed turrets, actually. Hmm. All right, final Christmas tree. We've scouted uh, pretty much this entire part of the map, though. Hmm. Hmm. Don't tell me you don't have enough Christmas trees on this map. Oh, there we go, yeah. Right, so what's this one? The sixth one, is it? Is this number six? Nope, that was number seven. Even better. What? what? Let me tame you. Tame you! Tame! Stop moving! Come here so I can tame. 
There we go. Can I ride it now? It's tamed. I can't ride Velociraptors. Excuse me. What are you eating, bro? Stop. Well, regardless, I love it. We have a Dino Raptor chasing us around now. Rather than trying to eat us, he's going to protect us. And uh, we have two minutes. So once again, defend more presents from these greedy husks. And save the children of the crack, crackhead neighborhood of a, a bleak Christmas. So let us go and head to one of them. Main it. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you back when the husks decide to show. Excellent. Where are the husks? All right, we're going Xenon Bow up in this joint. I can already hear those blasted flingers screaming. Like, it literally turns straight into a hellscape. That's all I hear. My game sound is so loud as well. Oh, bro, bro, you're telling... Okay, I hope they didn't build this and in fact they just got one of those uh, things where you search. Uh, what are they like? Plug a potty? I don't know what you call them. Port a potty? Uh, you know what I'm saying. Port a, port a hub, whatever it may be. But um, yeah, if it was, then they actually worked off that really nicely, to be honest with you. Hell yeah. Okay, look at that. I, love I actually really like these one minute defenses. They're very chill. Very chill indeed. There you go, another present down. One present collected. We're at three out of six, which means that we need to go get the final three. So uh, let's go grab one position, and uh, then we shall defend. <laughs> I get a feeling we got some wild cat up in here. Okay, that that's wild. A wild building by me. Let me get rid of that, and uh, let me actually make use of that. There we go. I am not pressing any buttons. For the love of God. Let's stop this controller. Honestly, you think it's annoying when I play um, Save the World? Oh, my days. When I play COD. Woohoo! It's a whole nother realm. But I just enjoy COD enough that I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll tell, tell you what, I'll just deal with it. And uh, still, comes up with the leaderboards, then I might. Of course I do. And you know what's even more crazy? I've got freaking the most insane latency in every single game. So uh, I'm genuinely excited to actually play Call of Duty when I get back to the UK. With a controller that works and connection. Because it's one of those games where your connection really matters. Like, uh, because you die so quickly, it really matters about how quick you are to get in, like, the shots off and your connection and such. So, you know, people can try and berate you for that, but that's it's true, bro. Uh, trust me, I've been in the COD game... Since you were in your mum's womb, mate. Like, I've been around for a long time playing old Call of Duty. And, um, yeah, I remember, like, I when I first got the internet. Oh, my days. My friends had, like, their family had, like, really good internet. And my family like, nah, fam, we're not doing that. You, you, you got internet for school. And you can, you can do one internet page at a time. You're good. You're fine. But then I got into, like, Xbox 360 and stuff. And that's when I was like, but we need better connection. I'm lagging. <laughs> lagging on Call of Duty. Mate, oh my goodness, Get lag. Lag being a thing in 2022 is beyond me. I mean, here in Guinea, though, like, you know, you know there's no COD servers in Africa, right? Or, well, in Guinea, at least, in North Africa. Maybe in South Africa, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, for my servers, it automatically connects me to Europe, um, which is still kind of freaking wild. But I have, like, four times more ping than everyone in my lobby. So, you think about it, right? People have four times the advantage. That's all I'm saying. But I'm still clocking Ws. And uh, to be honest, I'm actually... So, I with COD, right? I think the main thing is this camo malarkey. And they've kind of made it so that, like, you know, you really should, like, I, like unlock this mad skin. But to, uh, to unlock the mad skin, you need to do every single weapon, bro. Every single weapon! Which, uh, to me, seems like quite a bit of fun, a bit of challenge. Now, um, you know, I've completed several... Well, I haven't actually completed... I completed the pistols. Well, other than platinum. I, I've just got all, the, I've got all my pistols gold. That was a lot of fun. I've, uh, but at the moment, I'm working on just getting max level all my weapons so that I have all the attachments. Um, all my weapons have been maxed out. 
so that when I get around to doing individual challenges, I can put on like the best parts for it to make it easier in my life. You know, because um, trying to do challenges when you've got bad attachments, absolutely sucky. And to unlock attachments on one weapon, you need to level up a weapon in an entirely different class. It's beyond me how, it's, how it actually works out, but I think it's to incentivize you switching between the weapons rather than just trying to get crazy levels. But uh, I just went on the COD run. Bro, it's because I actually really enjoy COD. And I'm thinking about uploading Call of Duty some point. Um, especially when the raids come out. Bro, they're bringing raids to Call of Duty. You know me. You know I've been a raider my entire life. Like I literally play the game I play at the moment. I play Save the World, RuneScape, and Call of Duty. Right? I play RuneScape because I can raid. All right? I play Save the World because I can do Mythic Storm King. And also, I get to freaking clap husks on the daily. So that's pretty true in my opinion. But also, Call of Duty, on the other hand, is bringing out some sort of raid mode, which um, I think that is going to be a laugh. I'm going to get my friend on. I said to him, listen, bro, we're going to jump on. We'll do it together. We won't research any of it. So we have to work it out, which uh, normally isn't a great idea because you get stuck for ages. But I think it would be fun to try and do that. And on that, Baranted Rant, Baranty Ranty of Call of Duty. Our next quest in Save the World is give his heart grew five, five sizes. So that is a reference to the Grinch. Very nice. Um, it is time for Crackshot to learn his value of something. Collect expired energy drinks to help him become a large hearted holiday hero. Okay, number one, why expired? And number two, why energy drinks, huh? Well, what's this? Save the World, sponsored by G4? What's going on? Destroy vending machines to gather energy drinks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will be coming back to give the old crackhead a heart attack in the next one. But until then, have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next one. Adios.